For the last three months, National Social Security Fund has not been at peace due to the delayed renewal of the managing director's contract. Gender Minister Betty Amonki has briefed the House about the delayed reappointment of Richard Biarugawa, saying it's due to several petitions of alleged mismanagement of funds against him. Right Honorable Speaker, a number of petitions had been presented to several authorities, including H.E. the President, Right Honorable Prime Minister, the Coordinator of Operation Wealth Creation, the Inspector General of Government, and myself, as Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development. The minister says that the delayed reappointment of Richard Biarugawa was done in consultations with her superiors. Members of parliament questioned the correspondence among the minister, the board members of NSSF, the president and the prime minister in what they say seems to be suspicious. It's from here that the members of parliament urged the speaker to set a special committee to investigate the controversies surrounding the fund's body. I'd also like to suggest that the, the, the committee responsible for the ministry and NSSF could hear from different stakeholders. Maybe call um, Mr. Richard Biaragaba, call the minister and other stakeholders and hear from them. I don't know if we need a select committee, but there's already a committee which handled this, uh, this docket. It should be noted that this is not the first time NSF is getting into a controversy. About eight years ago, the former managing director of the body, David Jamua, was implicated in financial mismanagement where billions of the NSF 